Hi there, my name is Phil Higgins and this is the Ventures Onsite Middle East Construction News Update for the first week of September 2022. Well, if you're new to our news update, then please subscribe so we can keep you informed with the latest construction news for the region and all future developments here at Ventures Onsite. Well, Qatar has announced its plans to build a one billion US dollar blue ammonia plant with a capacity of 1.2 million tonnes per year. Qatar Energy has signed agreements with industries Qatar QSC and its subsidiary Qatar Fertiliser Company to develop the project. Thesson Krupp AG and Consolidated Contractors Company have been awarded the contract for the plant named Ammonia 7. Oman's Ministry of Energy and Minerals and Oman Tank Terminal Company, a subsidiary of the OQ Group, signed the framework agreement to develop a new oil pipeline to establish Oman's blend crude from Ras Marquez crude oil terminal in Dakham. The pipeline will be connected to the tank terminal's infrastructure to transfer, store and export Oman blend crude oil from the terminal. Abu Dhabi National Oil Company announced this week the award of five framework agreements valued at 1.83 billion US dollars for directional drilling and logging while drilling to support its efforts to expand the production capacity of its low carbon and gas resources. The awards cover ADNOC's offshore and onshore fields and will run for five years with an option for a further two years. The agreements were signed with Al Gaith Oil Field Supplies and Services Company, Al Mansouri Directional Drilling Services, Schulenberger Middle East, Halliburton and Weatherford Bin Hamuda Company. The Abu Dhabi National Hotels Company has acquired land on Ras Al Khaimah's Marjan Island to develop a hotel. UK-based steel maker J.O. Steel Holdings will invest 865 million US dollars to build an integrated billet manufacturing plant in Saudi Arabia's Ras Al Khair industrial city. The state-owned National Housing Company has signed agreements with four real estate companies to develop housing projects in Dammam and Katif in Saudi Arabia. The agreements were signed with Tilal Real Estate Company, Samul Real Estate Company, Mayer Real Estate Development and Investment Company and Tamkeen Real Estate Development Company for the second phase of the residential project in Al Waja suburb in Dammam. Separately, NHC signed an agreement to build Qumra residential project in Katif. In Egypt, Russian nuclear energy company Rosatom has announced that its engineering division, Atoms Troy Export, has finalized a contract with Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power to build turbine islands under the El Dabo nuclear power plant project, KHNP, will be constructing 80 buildings and structures at four units of the power plant as part of the contract. Egypt real estate developer GV Developments has signed an MOU with Aegis for the development of Tabul industrial city in Giza, Egypt. The project will spread over 109 million square meters with every area aimed at servicing the purpose of sustainable production. It will be developed into a green, smart and livable industrial city in the heart of Egypt's trade area. Well, that's the news for this week. Like always, we hope this news update helps you stay informed so you stay competitive. My name's Phil Higgins, and this is Ventures On Site Live.